latest news updates on YouTube. Follow the IOT on Instagram so we can connect outside of YouTube. If you have any story suggestions that you think would be great for this channel, you should send us a DM, and if we pick it, we'll shout you out on our channel. So if you haven't seen our previous coverage on Natalia Barnett, I highly recommend you check it out because there's a lot of ground to cover. But if this is your first time hearing about it, I will simplify it for you real quick. Natalia is from the Ukraine, and she was adopted by Barnett's in May 2010. They believed her to be about six years old at the time. But when Christine Barnett gave her a bath for the first time, she saw Natalia had full pubic hair. Natalia was also hiding the fact that she was having periods. Natalia has a form of dwarfism, and she never grew the entire time she lived with the Barnett's. She was also suffering from severe psychological illness and was diagnosed as both a psychopath and a sociopath and displayed violent, aggressive behavior. Michael Barnett said that they would wake up to Natalia standing over them while they slept. She was putting chemicals into their coffee and admitted she was trying to poison them. She would jump out of moving cars, smell blood on mirrors. This was a lot for the Barnett's to put up with, especially because they believed that she was actually an adult masquerading as a child. So they set her up with an apartment, social security and food stamps, and moved to Canada without her so their prodigy son could study physics. But they only moved after they legally changed her birth year to 1989. Because of this, the Barnett's are currently facing trial and are being charged with two counts of neglect of a child or dependent. So, the burning question. How old is Natalia? The short answer is no one really knows, but let's start at the beginning. Her birth certificate from the Ukraine that was given to the Barnett's when they adopted her stated that she was born 9-4-3, which is pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. Who's ever heard of a birth date that only has 